How are you boys? Welcome back. Episode number three, Porto Career Mode. It's between these two. Both these guys can play on either wing. I've done my homework. I know that's a fact. Matias Pereira costs us 8 million. Camano costs us 5.8 million. They're, they both want 30,000 wages. So that's not a problem. It's just who it comes down to. Who's it going to be? Who's the... Who's going to be joining the club? Pereira has accepted the 30,000 important first team player contract for four years. Do we accept them? Let's wait. Kamano accepts his contract as well. The exact same contract offered for both. So who's it going to be, boys? Either one of these guys is coming in for a backup role. We're looking to develop either one of them. They're both really good. But after reading your comments, my mind was made up. You guys said it's no big deal. These big teams do negotiate with each other. So, Matias Pereira, welcome to the club. Kamano, I wish I could have had you, but there was only room for one. We made up our mind. Matias Pereira coming from Sporting, a beast Brazilian left mid, natural left mid. But as you can see right here, he could also play on the other side, the right mid position. So um, it, it's going to be fun, man. It's going to be fun developing this player. We ex we did negotiate with Sporting. You guys said, hey, man, it's not, it's not a big deal. It happens. The, the teams in Portugal do negotiate with each other. So... Our mind was made up. Now it's time for the final of the preseason tournament. Let's do it. Yes, baby, we're here. Torino awaits. They're standing in our way of the cup. And there's a trophy. The trophy for the for this preseason tournament looks exactly like the Champions League one, man. It, it looks like Laurejona, like the official Champions League trophy. I don't like that, man. Come on, EA, sort your stuff out. You can't you can't have a preseason tournament have the same damn cup as the Champions League. That, that's 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 dumb. That's just wrong. That's just wrong. Anyways, right here in the seventh minute of action, look at Torino attacking. Thank God they didn't make contact with that header that would have been for sure the first goal for them then here in the 37th minute Benassi the shot Iker dives at it thankfully it was slightly wide then in the 42nd minute of Bubakar the strength on showcase the shot but Delhi Torino keeper with a great save that's exactly how it would go to halftime not too many opportunities for either team you see the halftime stats, two shots, two on target for us, only one shot for them. The possession was almost identical, 51 to them, 49 to us. Then right here in the 67th minute, Abubakar goes to Brahimi, opening up the pitch. Brahimi sees Neves. Neves, the shot, what? What a golazo, how did that go in though? He hit it so damn softly. I was so surprised this actually went in, but what a golazo for Ruben Neves. Look at it once again. I mean, I think, look at Abubakar. Look at Abubakar. Like, he's right in front of the goalkeeper, and he's offside. Should that have been called an offside? Did he possibly obstruct the goalkeeper? I, I don't know. Maybe. But, hey, we'll take it. It's not our fault the ref didn't call anything. We take the lead in this preseason tournament final. Now it was time for substitutions. Brahimi... Leaving the match, Corona's playing on the left wing. Matthew Pereira, the brand new player from Sporting, getting his first minutes with uh, with Porto. Then here, Gabriel Jesus is coming in also for Abubakar in the striker position. Torino recovers the ball. They take the shot. Goodness, we can't be losing the ball out like right outside our box. That is just gonna kill us. And right here, Matthew Pereira touching his first ball with Porto. What a pass to Gabriel Jesus! Oh goodness, he had the goal right there. The two Brazilians linking up the two brand new players, but they weren't able to finish. Then right here, Torino coming back in the 87th minute, but Iker with a great save. Boys, you hear it. The ref blows the whistle. We win this match with the Ruben Neves goal. A very soft touch, but a golazo. Nonetheless, 1-0, it's enough to win this match. We take the Champions League. Yes, you heard it right. You see the trophy. It looks exactly like the Champions League trophy. There it is. Laurejona. Just kidding. We won the damn preseason tournament. What I care about is the money. Wait a minute. Did, did I just say that? Yeah, what I care about is the money that this damn tournament 
br brought to us that is gonna that is gonna inject our transfer budget. Six. I mean, I mean, we we just were the better team. Torino had very few attacks, but the 4.6 for winning the final is has been injected into our transfer budget. Then Iker brings us the news he's considering this to be his final season of football he's considering retirement Iker the legend looking to hang him up so we'll see what we do about our goalkeeper situation but PSG offers for Francisco Ramos a young 20 year old uh, 68 overall central midfielder they add, they offer two we ask for six we'll see what they say I know they have the money come on PSG don't be cheap so Raul Gudinho, we loan listed him, Madeira, Uniao Madeira, a team from Portugal says, hey, I'll take him off of your hands. And the weird part about it is, uh, in real life, Raul Gudinho went from Porto to Madeira on loan as well this season, like a month ago, or now like two weeks ago or something like that. So it's really weird how it just happened here in game as well, but we let Raul Gudinho go on loan so he could develop, especially since Iker, you know, is considering retirement. We're going to need our goalkeepers to develop we have Jose Sa, a young goalkeeper as well and we have Raul Gudinho so we're, we're covered but uh, we need them to develop so here we go Musa Marega 7 million Aston Villa is offering for him I say give me 10 million and you can have him we had transfer listed this striker since we we brought in Gabriel Jesus from Palmeiras we're not really going to be using him he's 24 so he's not going to develop all that much anymore uh, PSG came back and said they, they don't they don't want to pursue our player anymore they don't want to pay the six million so that's that's okay um, nine million is what Austin Villa is now offering for Marega I say give me 9.5 no maybe 9.4 and you can have them so we'll see what Austin Villa comes back with but that would be a, a decent transfer for us considering I really wasn't looking to use Marega all that much. Austin Villa actually accepts the offer. 9.4, they decided to go, with, go ahead with the deal. So that's some good news. Then, bad news, man. This, I'm not going to try to pronounce his name because it's just not going to go well. But he's a young center back from Nigeria. Five months out. An injury for five months. So that, that's terrible news. Eight million is what we get to our transfer budget for selling Marega. So our transfer budget is looking like this for now. I know you can play around with it, but 23.2 million. Hey man, that's some healthy amount. Then we're, we keep getting offers for our young young players right here. Andres Silva, Borussia Dortmund wants some. He's a 19 year old, 70, 70 overall striker. I, w I thought about countering 6.7, but I was afraid they were going to match it. So I said, I don't want to let him go. I truly don't want to let this kid go. I, I think he has a bright future. He does have some potential. So I do not want to let him go. Then Evandro, uh, Real Betis is looking to buy him off for, uh, for 4 million. I say, give me 7 and you can have him. You know, Evandro, he he's, he's a decent player. He's a good backup. He is 28 already. So if they give me 7 and they do give me 7 then they could have them so I then as soon as they accepted the seven million dollar offer I said damn I should have asked for eight but you can't you can't always get greedy so Evandro will be leaving the club so damn man that means more money into our transfer budget but now it's time for the first official match of the season we're at home receiving Pacos Ferreira this is a team that we shouldn't shouldn't have way too much trouble with we should be okay for tonight you see the starting lineup, it's a standard default lineup, nothing special, nothing different, Iker Casillas in his last season potentially, here we go boys, we are underway, I'm a little nervous, I'm a little nervous, but we should be okay, and the first player danger is for us, thankfully, Andre, Andre, to Corona, Ooh, man, what a save from the goalkeeper, I thought Corona was going to score the first one of the season right now. And here in the seventh minute, Abubakar with the pass to Tecatito Corona. Goal, baby, the first one of the season now in the eighth minute of action. Look at the showcase of strength by Abubakar. The center back pretty much ran him over. He stays on his feet, gives off a great pass to Tecatito Corona, who with a finesse gets it around the keeper's reach. 1-0, yes sir, against Pacos Ferreira. It started, baby, here in the ninth minute, or in the eighth minute, it just started. But then Corona loses the ball in the midfield. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is terrible defending. How could I let him get all the way into our kitchen? 
reach his hand into the cookie jar and just take a cookie. Come on, man. That's that, 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 Those are our cookies. I mean, look, look at that. Come on, man. You got... Uh, I was trying to take it from him with Herrera, but I, I should have dragged one of the defenders, one of the center backs out to at least contest the shot, if not block it. Right here, Abubakar, though, in the 24th minute. Herrera with the shot. Nice save from the goalkeeper, Danilo. Back to Herrera, 2-1. to one. Things are back in our favor, baby. Hector Herrera, the captain for tonight. Nice, nice stuff right there. He took the shot, almost scored that nice goal. But Danilo hustling, making sure the ball stays in play. And the nutmeg for the goal. Look at it once again. Yep, right through the legs of the defender. He's got to feel terrible. That, that can't feel good. To, to get the ball scored between your legs, yeah, that, that's not, that's not going to feel good at all. But right here, early into the second half, Miguel Ayun. The pass to Pereira. Danilo recovers it. To Tecatito, come on, finish it, yes, 3-1, to one. boys, could the floodgates be open now, is this it, is this it for Bacos Ferreira, oh goodness, their defenders, man, it became more and more evident that they weren't of a, uh, let's, what, what, what can, how can we put it, very high level, if we can put it like that, so, Hector Herrera, he's gonna get subbed off, for, for uh, Ruben Neves, the young, young prospect for us. Brahim is coming off for the new player here, Irving Lozano. And here we go. I'm excited to see Irving play, man. I'm excited to see him play right here. Abubakar to Ruben Neves. Takes it back from the defender. Four to one. The 70th minute of action. Maybe the floodgates did open, baby. Right here. Look at the defender actually initially took it from Neves. And then Neves just took it right back and finishes with the goal. The first one of the season coming off the bench for Ruben Neves, man. He is potentially, he has the potential to take the starting spot from Hector Herrera. But before we finish this match, Irving Lozano with the number 10 in his back. I didn't do that. The computer gave him the number 10. I think I'm going to change it because his style just doesn't fit the number 10. So I might save that for a new player that, that, that will be joining the club very, very soon. I don't have any one player in mind. Maybe I do. You'll find out right now at the end of this episode. But the ref blows the whistle. Five. Yeah, you heard it right. Five to one victory. I promise you this is legendary difficulty. I don't mess around with sliders or anything like that. Just that the, the opponent we had for tonight for the first official match of the season wasn't you know up to par with us that's just being honest but i don't believe every single game will be like this now here are the stats for the match 11 shots nine on target however they did beat us in possession so we at least we got to give them that but yeah it was a complete and utter domination from us so yeah well, hopefully not every game is that easy right six million uh, allocated to our transfer budget so that puts us at a pretty healthy amount now after the match marcano would get an offer from leicester city 10 million is what they're offering i'm not sure if i want to let him go but if they give me 15 for him then i probably will uh, we do have martins indy to cover his spot we have diego reyes out on loan so we probably wouldn't have to buy another center back now boys we have 29.2 million right now i know you can play around with the budget so we probably have over 30 million now i thought about bringing one big fish just spending it all on one big name but i think the better thing to do would be to bring three medium-sized names from south america from north america and then just develop them. That's the Porto thing to do. So guys, thank you guys for watching. Likes greatly appreciate it. I'll catch you guys on the next one.